In other fast food news. This is our fast food news segment. Fast food news. Yeah. Do we have production? Do we have production oh, for this? No. Damn it. Uh, pulled Burger King commercial featuring Mary J. Blige singing about fried chicken wrap. So we have it. What? I guess Mary J. Blige uh, said, yeah, I'll fucking sing about your chicken wraps for Burger King. Mm-hmm. Nice payday for her. Chicken wrap. And then what happened? Black people said, what the fuck you what? doing, Mary J. Blige? You know we, uh, we don't like when people point out we like chicken. Yeah, like a bunch of... Is that so, what happened? Yeah, so Burger King is doing this like uh, campaign where they've got celebrities in it, and, and they like the, It's for the new menu items, one of which mm-hmm. is a fried chicken wrap. Deal. And Mary Jbliggy didn't like uh, and Mary, the fact that black people were eating chicken? Well, Mary at first did. She enjoys a chicken wrap, I suppose, because she started singing about it. Oh, well. So this commercial came out on the internet, and then a lot of black journalists were saying, you know... Mary J. Blige is a respected member of the community, blah, blah, blah. I can't uh-huh. believe she was doing this. And that's where black people need to fucking cut this shit. Shut the She's fuck advertising up. a product, which it's fair for fucking blacks to like and whites to like it. So what yeah. is she singing about it? She's not, she's a black singer, so she's advertising for a product. Yeah. yeah. Torre said it was jarring. What? Torre's a douchebag. Yeah. Who? That fucking asshole. What's he on Joe? MSNBC? Oh, is he yeah, the one that went at it with uh, Piers Morgan recently? Yeah, and he lost. Piers smashed him. I didn't hear that clip either. The he's one of him douche. going at it with Piers. We should play that clip. I, yeah. I'm surprised we haven't yet. Like oh, this guy. I, yeah, yeah, you know. yeah, he's hateable. Um, What's wrong with black people liking chicken? Where does that come from? I'm very confused by that mm. one. I don't know where the stereotype comes from. Probably years ago, it just was what they ate. What's wrong with that? And it's true What's to this day when I, I'll... I remember one time I decided to take the local roads home from Nassau Coliseum, which was really oh stupid boy. to me. Uniondale. It was amazing how many chicken joints I saw. It was amazing to me. You will find a lot of uh, fried chicken places in a lot of uh, predominantly black communities. Uh, absolutely. So what's wrong with that? Does anyone know for real? I, don't I remember know what where it comes wrong from. With that. When I worked at Pergament, New Brunswick, like George, uh, George Street, was kind of a rough area. So for lunch one day, I went down there with one of the black guys I work with named Brian. And he was a bald guy who was like a shit talk, like an angry black dude. Yeah. And uh, all I remember about being in this chicken place, I was the only white guy, and he got into an argument with somebody. And as we walked out, he yelled, and you better have a pistol. That's all I remember. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. The guy, my guy was with yelling at somebody else. Wow. We went back, wow. To, went back to Pergament. His nickname was Hook. <laughs> yeah. but, so once with a tough crowd there, Jimmy. Well, it was just coworkers. Oh, okay. I was I was the token fucking cab getter. <laughs> so once everybody started saying, you know, what are you doing, Mary? This is not good. Blah blah blah. Then Mary said that she had not approved that version of the commercial that came out. So Burger King pulled it off their website, then their YouTube, citing that it had not been properly licensed. <coughs> so they didn't say this is bad racially. Blah blah blah. They just said. Mary didn't approve this version, so we're taking it down. It was a fuck. Uh, but you know why they took it Let's hear the version. This has to be awful, let's see. Right now, exciting she... things are happening at Burger King. Welcome to Burger King. Oh, what's in those new chicken snack wraps? What's, what's in the new chicken snack? What's in the new chicken wraps? Oh, I want to watch it. Mary? Everybody want a piece of my chicken. <laughs> Wait, now. Oh, okay. I am outraged then. Oh, well, that... <laughs> This sounds yeah, a little racist. Like it. <laughs> you hear me? You hear me? No, nah, nah, here's the real version. Right, Sorry for that. The new chicken snack wraps. Come and get it at Burger King. I don't oh know what the big God. deal is. What, I don't know. Why, what version did she like? Why that was it. did Martin Luther King uh, give his life? <laughs> uh, it's just, that's an outrage. This takes civil rights back 50 years. But why would that be objectionable? Uh, was it because there were all white people in the line? And obviously. The black chicks about question? Wait, the, the, chicken? The, if you the, can't see it, racist, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. The purpose of the commercial is obviously just to be, like, silly. Like, it just, you wouldn't think that. But people described it as buffoonery. And when... The word buffoonery is used to, oh. but it's not so buffoonery. Like step and fetch it, right? Uncle Tom, because she was right. singing about a product. She was singing about flour and tortilla. It wasn't like she was jumping up and down on the fucking counter, going, "I love chicken." Right? She was. Right. She was in, on a stage singing, singing about tortillas. The song sucks. How do you try to sing about tortillas? It's a terrible song. It's it's awful. But it's like supposed to be bad. I think it's supposed to. You yeah. know what I mean? Right. It's it's kind of a goof, right? Right. It's just a goof. That's, yeah, it's a goof. Why would they? They're not seriously putting her up there with <laughs> lights, singing about tortillas. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, yeah. When respected 
black people or black artists are accused of buffoonery. That's that's one of those words. Cow to the man. Like, right. Oh shit. And I she's such you. a fucking weakling. She should have come out and said, fuck, and said, fuck, fuck you. Fuck Shut y'all. the fuck up my payday, motherfucker. <laughs> Let's, <laughs> don't fuck with my money. Fuck with my shit. <laughs> you got the clip of that guy that started it. The tr- what's his name again? Trayon? Torre? Torre? Well, I have Trayon. This is the Joe? I have the Piers Trayon. Morgan to say it again. Oops. <laughs> this is the guy that started the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gets uh, very involved with black <laughs> issues. Uh, it's coming in that chicken used to be way cheaper than beef. Yeah. If I, yeah. If I was a n- Negro, yeah. <laughs> I would own that shit. Like, look look how smart we are. Well, you, it's not you don't so much thought chicken was cheap, but look how delicious Opie, it is. Opie, it's not so much for being smart. It's the fact that the plantation owners and whatnot mm-hmm. did not want to spend uh, good money and resources on the slaves. So they would feed them uh, cheaper food, uh, of which would be chicken, which was actually the good part of, of the cheap food. Other parts would be like pig knuckles and, right. and bellies and stuff. It and they became soul that, food, right? Yeah, they call that low on the hog, yeah, as opposed to living high, high on the hog, hog, which is the good meat. But- uh, that was up high on the hog and not low. Is that what that means? Yes, oh, living high on the hog. Fuck. And then living like low okay. on the hog but, was all the, the but, crappy. But uh, the food. joke is on the massa because it tastes delicious. I don't know about pig's feet. I ain't eating hey, that pickled shit. pig's feet. Yeah. That's, my, that's the name of my first in band in high school. <laughs> 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 no, I didn't read it on uh, Nickermania. So <laughs> you people are out of your minds. That actually learned, sounds like a legit. Well, I learned history from a cooking show. Why are they out of their minds? They're just following your lead. They just uh, assume. What? They just no, assume. I look at every type of website. Why should I only look at websites that are, are deemed uh, inoffensive? I look at offensive websites, yeah. uh, garner information as to what, what some people's opinions and thoughts and horrific racism are. And then I go to other websites that uh, uh, counter that with their own horrific uh, racism. <laughs> I, see, I see hate everywhere. You know <laughs> Stormfront and fucking nigger mania. I would, my, here's my only issue with them. You can yeah. write what you want. Just use your name. Oh, well. Just use your name when you write it. You know what, though? Too much persecution, even amongst racists. You can't, uh, if, if you use your real name, you'll lose mm. everything. Mm. I mean, it's a brave mm. stance to make, but oh. it's, uh, you know. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, they don't, a, mm. I understand your There's point. There's nothing worse than a racist who's a coward and a racist, a closet racist who whispers naughty things. Hey. I don't like blacks. Me neither. I don't either. But keep it on the QT. Because you could go on. You could go on that website under your own name yeah. and say stuff that you don't like about the black community. Nobody would persecute for you. They just don't. Want, they want to go on and say nigger this and nigger that, and they want to be angry tough guys under fake names. They're the fucking worst. Well, well what if with what no if, consequence? What if you with want? No, con- no what consequence. if you want to express an opinion that is deemed racist? Uh, in, in, but but in not just throwing around horrible epithets, but uh, in, in a reasonable fashion, you're just using uh, uh, whatever opinions you have, whatever, right. and your name is, is tagged to it, and then your employer sees it. Now, just because you're exercising your freedom of speech, you should lose your job, which you absolutely would. The anonymous thing kind of comes with the, the territory because of the, the persecution you get for having an opinion. Um, Good or bad? It's a pussy move. Yeah. It, yeah, it really is. But because, would, uh, there's no would... political opinion, by the way, mm-hmm. uh, or, or or opinion, because people bat around these opinions all the time. Yeah. Uh, on TV, no one's losing their job just for batting around an opinion. The, the thing is, it's not about the opinions, because you'll hear uh, opinions about the black community being fucking irritating or whatever you don't like. That that's not why they're hiding. Oh, but I'm talking hardcore opinionated shit. Like, why shouldn't you be able to do that without losing your job? If you, I agree with you. I completely agree with you. Yeah. If you want to go into a public forum mm-hmm. and you want to say something publicly, then you should say it publicly. And if, if it comes down to because there, there could be a consequence to that, which is wrong, you should never lose your job. I don't right, care if you're right. a racist. I don't necessarily like racist, but you shouldn't lose your fucking job for it. Right. Do you know what I mean? It's almost like... But, but you, you will. See, we're not talking about what should happen. We're talking about what does happen. And if these guys put their name on there, they would absolutely lose their livelihood and, you know, uh, uh, maybe family. Uh, but a bunch of fucking pussies going online under fake names and just saying we hate niggers and this and that well, is, it, is fucking pussy. I understand that part of it. But That's there what are, I object there to. are certain people that go to uh, websites that are deemed racist websites and post, believe it or not, some well thought out uh, ideology. Well, then how about you have to make that decision? How about you have to make the decision of you have, of course, you can have your opinion and you can discuss it with people. But if you want to go into a public uh, place, 
Mm-hmm. If you want to go into a public place and say things, then you have to realize that there's going to be consequences which there shouldn't be. Yeah. Like, and, and then fight to have those consequences. Do you, know, you know what I mean? Like, I know what you're saying, but I never think anybody should get in trouble for voicing their opinion if it's, done, if it's done uh, in a way that's acceptable. I am a 100% freedom of speech Me too. guy. I mean... I don't see any fucking uh, barriers uh, or uh, hurdles should be thrown in your fucking way when you're just voicing your opinion. No matter, and I honestly believe no matter how fucking heinous yeah, I agree. people find it, I think everything is fair game when it comes to speech. Uh, but it's not that way, and you definitely are sacrificing your livelihood if you do expose who you are in certain circumstances. Like the Klan. Well, like the Klan, but okay. And then let's look at um, some of the black hate sites that are out there. Those people can post their names, and uh, you know. Then the same goes for them. The same. Then the same. I have the same opinion of them. Yeah. I, the, the, I, I actually haven't been to those. But if they're going on into fake names, they're fucking pussies. They're fucking social pussies. They're not afraid of being beaten up physically, but they're socially cowards. Where they want to talk a certain way, and behave a certain way and give out certain because if you're going to nigger mania or stormfront those are not just sites where you're going to 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 discuss political opinions mm -hmm. those are hardcore sites be that guy fucking yeah. be that guy well it's very hard to make yourself a martyr which is absolutely what you would be doing you'd be martyring yourself but if everybody stood up uh and fucking and said these things the way they feel. There's a lot more people probably than you think saying them. You, that that is the number one social taboo in this country. I by agree. the way, so I don't think it matters how many people are on a couple of websites. I don't think that anyone has the power to get up there, and it would never be portrayed in an acceptable light on the on the news. But the fact of the matter is that. Even that speech is protected. I agree. So there shouldn't be consequence. I 100% agree with you. I don't want to, even though I don't like what people say sometimes, I don't ever want them in trouble for it. But it's like, let's say back in 1990 before the internet, mm -hmm. these guys, what, would have meetings or get together, but they all knew who each other was. Well, back then what you would get are these anonymous flyers that would end up on people's yeah, windshields, in fucking, parking lots ugh. with a racist uh, diatribe on them. But... Even then, it's, it goes by the same thing. And indeed, when you talk about the Klan, the same thing with the hoods. The reason is these were people in the communities that really did not want right. to be cowards. exposed cowards? to uh, what they were doing. A exactly. They were fucking cowards. They wanted to, they, but they wanted to – it wasn't like one guy with a Klan hood would walk into a black neighborhood and just didn't want to be exposed. They would make sure there was a 50 on one. They, they were fucking, they're, they're just cowards. Uh, post under your real name. I don't care what it is. We're not in communist China. I know that there might be uh, fucking ramifications for it. But, but the ramifications uh, far exceed what is being done, is what I'm saying. You can talk about other things, not race-related, which I said is the number one social taboo, right. uh, racism and sure. race uh, uh, discussions. But let's say something else that isn't quite as, uh, gets people fired up. Um you could use your real name and be the person that really does want to stand up for that and and make a change. A lot of people are doing with the Occupy. They use their real names and yeah. whatnot. And, you know, they're looked at as assholes and shitheads by a, a lot of people. But that's something you can make a stand and say, hey, I, I want everybody to come forward and, and, and back me on this and let's make a change. You can't do that with something so horrific uh, that people see as, as racist. Um, then okay, fair enough. Yeah. But then don't go on and play phony brave. Don't go on. Don't go on and use rhetoric like brave rhetoric. They're not just voicing opinions. They're like, ah, these fucking nigg like they're talking like a guy who would say that to a guy. Um, it's almost mm. like going on to UF a UFC site anonymously. And going, ah, this fucking pussy can't fight. And it's like, well, you wouldn't, you wouldn't say that. So right, don't say it right. under a fake name. It's like it's like the message boards that we deal with on a much different level. They're not afraid of social persecution. Yeah, people just get very brave in in anonymity. But it's just too much consequence for just expressing a, an idea, ideology, your freedom of speech. The consequence far out exceeds the fucking. Then go on and say that. Go on and not uh, you. Go on and say I'm scared of the consequences, so I'm going to go into this name. Oh. But they don't acknowledge that fucking part of it. I have seen people that do say that. I've seen people that say you know. Uh, uh, I, I would love to voice opinions, but I, you know, have a job. 
You know, it, it, there are people, I think, oh, with, well. with like very radical ideology on any subject sure. that know they cannot say things. And I don't I don't think just because they post or, or say things anonymously that necessarily makes them instantly a coward. Uh, I do. Really? I, I, I hate really? anonymity. I hate I've never once. And I know I make my living talking, but I've never once had the desire to go anonymously somewhere. I've never wanted to do it. Hmm. I figure if I'm going to say something, I have to say it. And if, if, if I get in trouble for it or whatever, but and not anonymity like that, I fucking despise. I understand. Despise you, I understand it. you 100%. I just, in, in real world, you know, in, in the real world, it doesn't work. It doesn't work because there's too many people that do not understand our constitutional rights and, and do not understand that, that your right to horrific opinions and ideology and speech should have zero consequence except for the actual consequence. If you want to say something like that and you d decide you're, you're walking around and a black guy wants to come up and punch you in the fucking face, hey, that's the consequence that you've you know, right. decided you want to put out there that, that might happen to you. But you should not be – you should not lose your job based on I agree. on your ideology and and your speech unless you're bringing uh some horrid thing into the workplace but most of them don't i i think the majority of people they say they don't want to lose their job but most times what they're really afraid of is just the black coworker seeing them and putting that opinion with that face no, it wouldn't be but that's what it is <laughs> it's not necessarily about losing the job for a lot of them it's yeah. just they just don't want the people that they know to know that they feel right. that way again so the, they're the fucking hoods. pussies you're right again they're it's the fucking hood. pussy um you know, they, they want to spout off really loud, but they don't want people looking at them knowing that that was the guy that said it. I just don't think that's everybody. I don't think it's everybody, and I, I don't think you can put the 100% coward label on anonymous, uh, anonymous speech. Whistleblowers are one thing, but when you're just going on and shit talking, which is what most of them are just doing, mm -hmm. again, you have, I firmly believe you have the right to do it, and I don't want to see you penalized for it. Yeah. But I hate when they use fake fucking name i detest that because they usually find out an empowering name right 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 you know yeah, yeah. you know <laughs> race fighter whoa, whoa. <laughs> you know what i mean black crusher yowza <laughs> yes <laughs> guys fucking brave <laughs> you know yowza. that uh. that's what but is is again they're playing the the equivalent of an online game um, but this is, they're just, they're being yeah. phony brave. Well, Jimmy, I guess, uh, what are we going to have to do? Um, blow each other. Completely agree. <laughs> We're just going to have to agree to blow each other. <laughs> <laughs> I just hate it. I uh, hate it. I hate it. On yeah. Twitter, yeah. Oh, I know. You always have. I hate it. You've always had that opinion. And, uh, you know what? I, uh, I can't argue with your uh, opinion on that. But, uh, again, There's people I... that can't even use their, uh, real names when they're trashing us. That, well, that's what I'm our, saying. It's yeah. the same mentality. I see what Ann's saying. Well, because we would persecute but, Sam. But even, even, and, uh, <laughs> even yeah, on a low I, level, they're my job. <laughs> but even on a low level, they're not brave enough to use their uh, real names. And that's what bothers me. And to me, there's nothing wrong with going on mm -hmm. online to a website if you don't like blacks and saying that. Like, I really believe that, too. Even though I wouldn't agree with you, I have no issue with that because you're allowed that opinion. Mm. You're mm. allowed that fucking opinion. But what, what do we do? It's like because there's penalties for saying things where there shouldn't be. Do none of us just say anything? Well, you you do. I think you got to dance around things sometimes. I think you got to be a little creative. Um, but there are other people that want to delve into it a little deeper with a little more detail. And in those situations, you would be totally persecuted. And, and there's plenty of people that go on sites and talk about abortion and religion. Oh right, right. And, and very very controversial subjects. And in this age of the internet. Because we, we very rarely, how did we do it anonymously before, before just firing out letters mm -hmm. or secret meetings? Actually, um, a Sharpie on the bathroom wall. Right. That yeah. was anonymous. That, that's you what this write is. Write whatever the fuck you want on there, you know? <laughs> no one's going to know. And you talked among yourselves. Uh, in school, it was on your desk. But the dude. guy that sits here during right. third period sucks my <laughs> yeah. dick. Fuck you, I'll kick your ass. Who are you? I wrote that. Fuck you, asshole. I wrote that and I was in third period. <laughs> 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 By the way, to Ant's point, the Facebook password thing is, is you know, is gaining some fucking momentum. Is it? That's sickening. I got a tweet from uh, Pat from, uh, not Pat from Monarch, excuse oh. me, um, uh, Pat fucking Duffy. And he said his... 
Maybe you could call in the show. He says his girlfriend got fired because she refused to give up her Facebook uh, password. Wow, really? Wow. So it, it actually happened? Well, she could. She probably has a case at this point. He it was hasn't really... Been, uh, let, me, let me see if I can find get, the tweet. Get, a, get yourself a lawyer. Start litigating, motherfucker. Yeah, it was a DM. So uh, he wrote, um, so my girlfriend got fired for the content of her Twitter. It goes back to Ant's point, the consequences mm. for just basic shit. Yeah, there's a, there's a prime example. Now, now you got your Twitter. You got your uh, Facebook uh, you don't want to be anonymous on that. You want to share some things, your ideas, pictures, whatnot. How come you have to face consequences based on, and it doesn't have to be race. It could be anything. That's right? sickening. That your employer should, deems. Yeah, it's terrible. Should, That's yeah. terrible. It should be just uh, the type of job you're doing at the office. What so, kind of job wants your fucking Facebook? A lot of what if, what more if creatively, more. What if creatively, artistically, whatever, you want to share something that would be deemed offensive to an employer, and you... So you you should just so you don't come off as a coward should post your name anyway or maybe you should have a pseudonym that you could then uh, put your your work out there and and not be persecuted for it right this is a big you know? issue I, I think I think in, I don't think it's a coward in every circumstance what I'm saying I I, I mostly do because they're not exp the opinions they're expressing the basic opinions are normally not. Uh, offensive opinions. Mm. There are opinions that are fairly, and most, again, let's just say, there are opinions that are fairly allowable, and fair, I mean, by allowable, I mean, you're not going to get in trouble for them, even if they're socially unacceptable. But it's, that's not what they're doing. They want to go on and pretend to be this guy. And I just hate that. Mm. Because again, they want to go on and go, oh, he's fucking, it's like they want to say it in a way that they wouldn't dare <laughs> say it publicly. Not, it's not the opinion, like saying, hey, look, why are blacks fucking mm -hmm. behaving like this and running in and doing these flash mobs? I, I, Jim Norton, say that. The fucking mayor of Philly said that. Yeah. They can say that, but they don't want to say that. Right. They want to say, how come these fucking nigger? But they don't want the consequence of saying that. So it's not the opinion. It's they want to fucking brave it up right. and say it as aggressively. It's mm. like, if you want to do that, fair enough. Do it. But fucking deal with it. <laughs> let, let me uh, get to this. So Pat fucking Duffy on Twitter without the G's. So my uh, girlfriend got fired for the content of her Twitter. Oh, what this is different than her her Facebook. Kissing him after he ate shit. <laughs> 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 this is different than the Facebook thing, but in the same fucking area, obviously. Mm, didn't, yeah. didn't say anything bad about the company or her coworkers. Just spoke like an adult. So fucked up, man. They're going to be eventually censoring people in their own home. Sorry to bother you. I want to eat shit soon for your show. No. Sorry to bother you with it. Just thought you'd get it. So mm. we got Pat Duffy on the line here. Uh, All right. Pat, what did your girlfriend say on Twitter? Pat! Uh, hey, good morning, guys. <laughs> hey, Pat. Uh, I don't listen. This for, first and foremost, I don't want to. I don't want to put too much detail because I. I feel like they're watching me too, so I don't want to get in trouble. But uh, I guess the other day was National Cleavage Day on Twitter or some some other you know hashtag thing that they do. Right. And she posted a picture of her tattoo, which is this old school pinup girl, and uh, it, she's got like you know a big set of tits, and uh, she put a picture of that. And like later that day, they called her into the main office, and they had that picture on the desk, and they're like. Are you this person in real life? Because we don't want you to work for us if this is the person you are outside of work. What the fuck does that Hold mean? Hold on. What kind of job does she have? Wow, that's a lawsuit. Uh, yeah, I agree. Well, we, yeah. we, well she, she takes care of uh, adults with developmental disabilities. All right. Well, that would explain oh, her attraction to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, but what does she do for work? <laughs> <laughs> doesn't want, she doesn't want old guys dropping a heart attack. So. Uh, but to me, yeah. I think Ant's right. That, that should be a lawsuit. Like, that's yeah. sickening that yeah. her. She should absolutely be able to do. There should be no She's penalty. She's doing at all. her job well and stuff. And what she does outside of work, especially if it's not you know drive-by shootings, uh, that's fine. And this is where, like, when Pat's talking about when you and, and even and even to, to your point, this is where we don't defend each other. Uh -huh, and this is where right. we as a country stink, stink. Because back in the old days, as much as I had certain problems with the forefathers, they stuck up for each other. Right. I mean, they kind of banded together, and this was what we're doing. Against the blacks. Yes, fair <laughs> enough, as we should have. But this is where we're all frauds. Yep. Like, I think the guys should defend each other. Like, the guys on Stormfront or whatever should defend those guys on those black sites right to say what they want. If we're living in a true democracy and freedom of speech is truly valued, if uh -huh. everybody stuck up, stuck up for each other's rights, we would never have penalties. Right. Because we would allow, so we're all fucking, it's kind of a, a bigger picture thing where we just let each other get in trouble. But uh, I, if, if a guy's a radical fucking uh, black Muslim and he hates whitey, I never want to see that guy get in trouble. No, and I, I would defend that guy's right to say what he wants. Believe me, I enjoy reading uh 
the the militant black websites too. I I enjoy reading them because they're so outrageous. I find them fun. Yeah. Uh, but I also find them uh, educational. You kind of see what each the extremes on each side are thinking. If we weren't the type of country that just let each other swing with our dicks in the wind, yeah. if we were honest and really believed that free speech should come without penalty, there wouldn't be penalties. Right. Because employers would know that the backlash for penalizing unpopular speech was a, was, was a horrible backlash. But, but we love freedom of speech when we agree with it. When it's ours. Oh, when it's our speech, boy, will we say, hey, freedom of speech... And then the first people that turn on something that they, they find offensive or repulsive, then they're like, that camp, get that off, fire them, do something. Most Fuck people don't, you, you mo pussies. Most right? people in this country don't like freedom of speech. No, they, they don't. They, they, they hate they, it. They think they do, but they, yeah, they, they want prove it. time and time again they don't they like it. They want it for them and everyone that thinks like them. See, that's yeah. why it's so painful when someone says something you don't agree with. That you defend their right yeah. to say yes. it. Always. You have to every fucking time. Always. It's hard. Trust me, it's hard sometimes. A lot of these radio guys that we've supported over the years, I fucking hate their guts. I do. Yeah. But you have <laughs> to defend their right to say their shit. Every time you should defend it. I, whether you agree with it or not. Fuck. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it's easy yep. to go, oh, good, that guy's going to get fired, and I hope he does for what he said. Yeah, that would be the easy thing to say. Getting back to courage. Courage. The courageous thing is to stick up for a guy that you Ooh. fucking don't agree with. Look at the Westboro Baptist Church. I mean, as Thanks, repulsive Pat as they are, mm -hmm. I think they're the worst people in the country. Oh, yeah. I do think that there there is a necessity to them because they test our freedom of speech. Right. And if we can tolerate that as a country, it's and we do. It's repulsive It's and repulsive heinous. speech. That's yes. a tough one, man. Too. It's a tough one because they're going to really? soldiers' funeral. Like, oh, it's horrible. It is a tough one. That challenges what, what you're, you're supposed to do. It's what, horrible what they do. But yes. they are, what, what they do, at least uh, in a social medium... Yeah, is what freedom of speech is for. It's for repulsive, disagreeable speech to be allowed within certain constraints. Meaning that you know you can't just yeah uh, again you can't yell fire in a movie theater. So they're they're good. They should be the barometer. Like we tolerate that. So a bunch of guys being racist on a black site or a white site should absolutely be fucking allowable. Is there any other example besides fire in a movie theater? <laughs> I know. Uh, yes, what? inciting people to riot. Yeah. And what's the other one? Like defamation and slander is not covered. Right, right. There's right. a few things like that that aren't covered. There's not many. And how many yeah. people didn't yell fire in a movie theater because they weren't totally sure? <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't want to get in Smelling trouble. Smoke. Yeah, like, like, I don't know. I've, I've learned my whole hey. life not to <laughs> yell fire in a movie theater. <laughs> There's a... F uh, I might go to prison for this yes. if I'm not oh, right. Well, they said movie house, I believe. Yeah. In the yes, days. the movie house. And uh, how many people have misinterpreted that and been let go from their job at Lowe's and thought the manager was wrong? He said I was fired from the movie theater. No, no, <laughs> oh, that's not. You, you're getting it wrong. You can't sue him for that. Oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll boo myself. I hope Pat Duffy, if the, if that's the uh, facts that uh, Pat laid out, I hope his girlfriend sues. I man. agree. You know, I hope that happens. <laughs> Let's break. So what happened with the chicken thing? We're all good. Mary J. Blige. Yeah. They pulled it down. They're not. Yeah, she's a chicken. It's not funny. <laughs> oh, it's she just should have allowed it to be the fucking commercial. Gives a fuck. Yeah, come on. But these guys can go on. These black guys, whatever his name is, Toure or whatever, who's Toure. a douche. But he should be able to say what he yeah, wants. Of course. But Piers, I guess, slapped him down. No. Yes, he did. <laughs> he did slap him down. <laughs> Joe Toure. <laughs> <laughs> it's the third time I said I it. Know. <laughs> just the silliness of it. Of course it's <laughs> dumb. <laughs> Toure. So what did he rip something in half? Ah, hip, hip, Toure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How about to a B? We can go all the way down to Z. I got 26 of these. Look <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> at Sammy over there <laughs> digging up. <laughs> oh, what? No, no, don't do it. Oh, oh he's fuck. fine to look at him. He's, oh, he's been, not again. He's, he's <laughs> tussling his hat Ow. before oh, <laughs> you good. got shot. Are you happy that Josh got uh, shot? <laughs> yeah. Before the show came on, he said the C on my baseball hat was for come here. <laughs> <laughs> come here, yo. Let me talk to you. Uh, Oh, I, I would like to hear a little bit of this guy. Uh, it's a long clip. Could we throw through a filter and edit it a little bit? Fill it for. It's like eight minutes long. Yeah, I just want to hear a little race yeah, baiting. We'll, we'll do it after the break. Also, Eugene Levy's coming by today, and uh, Maggie Grace from Taken. Yes, and you're, lost. Uh, she's and uh, lost. Uh, yeah, she was. Uh, she was the one that ran lost. funny in uh, Taken. Yes. Dare yeah. we bring it up? Yes. Dare we bring uh, it we, up? We will absolutely bring it up. All right. Yeah, yeah. And maybe we talk about Augusta next. There's problems down there in Augusta. Augusta. Somebody said directly threatening the president, too. That's obviously not allowable. Oh, well. Yeah, of course. Can't do that. Can't do that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, all right.
The Opie and Anthony Show on Sirius XM. Are we on the air right now? Are we on the air? Oh, you guys are on the app. You guys are on the air right now? Oh, we are on the air. Are you on the air? What are you guys doing? Are you on the air? I can't tell you how many guests actually asked us, are we on the air? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. Are we about to go on? Or is that, we, yeah. We're, we're kind of on. That's what we do. <laughs> we're right on the fucking radio. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We do that. Are we on radio? Come yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're on the radio right now? We just bring it in and let it roll. Are we on the air right now? Are we on? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we just straight in. Straight in. Are we on? Yeah, we're on. Yeah. Yeah. Are we actually on the air right now? Yes, we're on the air. Yeah. Set up a sign, a red sign. The Opie and Anthony Show. You got um, Kentucky Musket on uh, Louisville. Sorry. <laughs> I got food. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> my soupy. Well, Kentucky Musket in Louisville writes, I yelled fire in a theater watching Backdraft. I didn't get in trouble. <laughs> ah, very good. And someone tweeted me and said that freedom, they said uh, that it doesn't matter inciting people to riot. Any political speech could incite people to riot. It has nothing to do with free speech. But it does. It's yeah. in there. And yeah. it's not about a political speech motivating people. It's when you're up there encouraging people to commit violent acts. I don't know what the exact thing, but it is in there. I think any speech that would get a group uh, holding pitchforks and uh, torches riled up that would probably be inciting yeah I don't, I don't know what the line is but it is in there sir and it would have to be i guess disgust and you know yeah. i think in, a, in, a, in a, if if you were actually arrested for that you could probably get away with saying it was freedom of speech but mm. in many cases i mean look it's when's the last time somebody was arrested for inciting a person to riot yeah and there's been some Gatherings that have been pretty um, except at my shows because I'm a riot. Hey, you are a regular riot, <laughs> <laughs> a riot, <laughs> a riot, Alice. 